Hi guys, today we're going to be taking another look at the newer NW700 and how to properly set it up. So a lot of you have been asking me, how do I set up my microphone? How do I connect it to my laptop? Mine's not working, what do I do? And I've tried to answer you guys in the comments as best as I could, but obviously I'm not explaining it well enough. So thanks to this comment, can you please make a setup video with your MacBook Pro? I know many people out there that are asking the same question. How did you connect your mic to your MacBook Pro? I have an InnoGear Phantom newer mic stand with mic and a 3.5mm mic slash headset adapter for the 3.5mm to XLR that came with the mic. I encounter high static, my laptop only read my mic once and I couldn't use the mic and the headset at the same time. Help. I decided to make a video properly explaining how I set up my microphone. So first off I'm going to explain how I set up mine and how I would recommend setting it up. So the first thing I did was throw away that cable that came with the microphone which was an XLR to 3.5. It was a pretty useless cable to me in this situation. You guys might want to hang on to it for just a little bit because I'll explain how you can use that cable and connect it to your computer later on in the video. So I got one of these. This is an XLR to XLR. It's designed for microphones, it's designed to carry phantom power, um, which I'll explain why that's important later on. After that, I've got the microphone running into my audio interface, which is a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Focusrite make great audio interfaces. Um, they've got phantom power in them and yeah you I mean you can get cheaper ones my one was 95 pounds at the time other companies make them I recommend Focusrite you can also go with Presonus, um, Audio, whoever then from the Focusrite to i2 I've got it going via USB into my laptop simple all you need to do if you want to use it with Skype um, or commentary in your software I think a lot of you guys are gamers you just need to set it up in the computer preferences as you want the input to be um, from your audio interface and you also want your output from your audio interface preferably as well same in your software you want to set it up in the preferences so it's recording the audio from your audio interface this is the important part of getting it working properly same if you want to use it with Skype, FaceTime, whatever. Go into the audio preferences, make sure that this is set as the default. I'm recording a voiceover right now in Reaper. I'm a producer and sound engineer. So what I do is I go into the audio preferences on the software that I'm using and select my Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 as the input and output. That way it's recording from the microphone or anything else that is plugged into the audio interface for that matter. Now make sure this is a condenser microphone, it's not a dynamic microphone. That means this requires phantom power. On audio interfaces you should see a button that says 48 volts or phantom. You want to click it slash flick it if it's a switch or a button. And that means power is then going to the microphone. The other thing you want to make sure you do is turn up the input gain. On mine it's just a knob and it's got a green ring that goes around it, green when the signal is nice and clean and it goes red slash amber when it's getting too hot. So hopefully that's explained it for some of you, now I'm going to explain it for the people that just got the generic cable. Some laptops do power your microphone off the microphone jack on your laptop, however not all of them do, therefore you might want to get something like this. A dongle uh, with a USB dongle with uh, a headphone jack and a microphone jack. Since it's powered off the USB port it should have the minimum of the 4 volt requirement to power this microphone off your computer. So yeah you've got option one get a nice audio interface USB audio interface easy to connect up your mic to. Option two USB dongle um, and I'd say they're pretty much the only two options really. Um, and some of you might be lucky enough just to be able to plug your microphone straight into your laptop and have it work. But that is the important thing to understand. This is a condenser microphone, 
it requires power to work. Hope you guys found this useful. Please subscribe if you want to see more, like the video if you found it helpful, dislike the video if you didn't, and then let me know in the comments why you didn't find it helpful. Hopefully I wasn't rambling too much. Bye.